the Bitmoji application and let's look for it in Google Play. Bitmoji. Now I have already have one so let me see if I can sign out of mine and recreate a new one. Uh, let me see. Let's see. Log out. Okay. Create an avatar. Use an email. You have to give them your birthday. Yes, everybody. I will play with this. Where is my birthday? Do, 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 do. So you add your birthday. Then you sign up your email. Okay. And I will pause the recorder for a second. So I paused the recording for one second so I could add an, a password, sign up. Okay, and I'm saving my password and you select which one you want. Uh, skip that, I don't want to use a photo. They can use a photo, it's faster. I selected a female. I want to be as fair as I can be. I'll select here, select your hair type, I will do here, I will select my hairstyle, my favorite hairstyle is here, my eyes, I will choose the eyes shape, okay, and the color of my eyes, I will put here, and then I will save. Yes. Okay, so you then can put on your outfit. They have ready-made outfits. Let's just, for time's sake, I'll choose that one. And save. Now you will be able to add this extension and check in from your um, computer and that's what I'm going to do now to continue the video okay this is the second part now I'm going to log into my extension that I have done so let's see extension bitmoji okay now let's add the extension so I can see it and get started and log in with my email address and pause for one second so I can put the password okay save it now I have my bitmoji that I have done and you can add it into your Google or anything and the best thing about these is that you can see tons of different things and you can use these within your lessons and you can put your company there if you want VLE rock there it gives you your company you can use those and this is really great for marketing your own brand and when you're doing your lessons you can open your lesson plans I have this on both so let me just open my lesson plans and I can use this as well within my lessons so I just open it up and let's say you want the students to call you by your name you just write teacher Brenda boom and they'll write whatever words you want uh, if you want to see different poses you can see poses they're all here if you want a holiday let's say Valentine's Day you can see them here if you want to do math as a subject you can see numbers in math you can do science you also can do reading you also have space 
So almost any word you want to search is there and then to add it you just grab it and drag it. And Bitmoji is really great because it really adds to your lessons and you've got this great char cartoon character or I can say my evil twin. So this is how we use Bitmoji within the classrooms.